Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of multiplication, specifically how we can solve word problems that include parts of a whole, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a very simple problem, and it says that Sean's got 36 cookies, and he had uh, 1 sixth of them were chocolate chip, 5 twelfths were frosted, the rest are sprinkles. So I'm just looking at how many cookies had sprinkles, so the rest, right? We're going to have to do a little bit of operations there to figure this out. But you notice that the answer is not asking for a fraction. The answer is actually asking for a number, not a fraction. The only hard number I have is 36. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how we can use these fractions of a whole or parts of a whole and use them to translate these fractions, the 1 sixth and the 5 twelfth into actual numbers. So if we wanted to represent this, we're going to have three different types of cookie, right? So we're going to call them chocolate chip. Let's call them frosted, sprinkled, C, C, F, and S. So chocolate chip, they gave us a pretty standard fraction right there, 1 sixth. And then we've got frosted as 5 twelfths. So there's a few different ways that we can solve this. I'll show you uh, two of them. So one way would be to just go ahead and let's view this as a parts of a whole. So the whole is 36. I've got 36 cookies. So I need to take 1 sixth of 36 and I need to take 5 twelfths of 36. And then if I can figure out what those numbers are, right, I can subtract that from 36 and I can get to my sprinkles. So how do we figure out what 1 sixth of 36. Well, an easy way to remember is that when we're talking about of something, one sixth of something, of means times. We use that as kind of a keyword, just like how many more typically means uh, subtraction, right? We're looking for the difference. I'm looking at one sixth times 36, but well, it's fractions are easy to multiply, but 36 isn't a fraction, except that you can always turn any whole number into a fraction by simply putting it over 1, right? So 36 wholes or 36 oneths is the same as 36. Any whole number can be turned into a fraction by simply making the whole number the numerator and the denominator as 1. Now we know how to multiply because that goes straight across. That's super easy. 1 times 36 is 6. And we've got 6 times 1 is 6. So it's 36 over 6. That is a mixed number. We know how what we need to do is we need to divide up. So 6 goes into 36. Now that's a basic fact. So we know that that's 6. So 1 sixth of 36 is 6. So I'm going to put that right here. So I've got 6 actual chocolate chip cookies. So that's good to know. need to do the same thing for my frosted, right? So I'm going to do 5 twelfths times, let's make that a fraction, 36 over 1. And that is going to, that's going to be a little bit bigger. Need to figure out what that is, 36 times 5, right? And that's going to be 30, it's 180. All right, so I've got 180, and that's going to be over 12. So I need to do a little bit of long division there, but it won't be that difficult. So 12 times 8 goes into 18 once. There we go, just going to have to do it twice. 12 goes in there, 15, so there we go. All right, so it's 15. All right, so if I add these two up, I've got 6 and I've got 15. So what do I have so far? All right, so add these two up, and I'm going to get 21. Well, if 21 cookies are already taken and the rest are sprinkles, well, then I just need to do my 36 minus my 21, because remember, my 36 is my total, and that is going to give me an answer of 15. Now, that's one way to solve it. Another way to solve it would be to look at these two, and to go ahead and add them up, the 1 sixth and 5 twelfths. And I can add them if I change my 1 sixth into twelfths, right? So that's going to be 2 twelfths. So if I say 2 twelfths plus the 5 twelfths, that means I've got 7 twelfths of my cookies already taken with my chocolate chip and frosted. So if I, that means that what has to be left is going to be 5 twelfths. So this is going to be my sprinkles. 5 twelfths, and then all I need to do is what we have already done. We need to take 5 twelfths of 36, and guess what you would get? You would get 15.